Hi guys, put you down just a little bit. Hello, hello, jump on in here. Come on in, I wanna show you my Stitch Fix box for the month. I know so many of you guys like to see what I get. I don't always come in here with it, but um, here lately I have been because so many of you have been interested in it. So come on in, come on in, come on in. Join me because we're gonna rip her open and see. I got it yesterday in the mail and oh, it was so busy. You guys, if you did you see my, uh, my post yesterday? <laughs> I've never been so dirty in my whole life. It was horrible. It was the worst day. I've been a painter for 27 years and I never had a day that bad ever, ever. So, um, so I did not want to do a live. I had to clean up though. So here's the thing. So I sell real estate as well. So I was painting, spraying a ceiling, a basement ceiling rafters with dark brown paint, right? <laughs> so you can only imagine what I looked like. I posted a picture actually with my, my big, you know, Darth Vader type whatever mask on and I had gloves on. My, my arms were brown, except you can see my little line of my wrist and my white, I had my white Keds on, which they were my painting shoes, but they weren't that bad. Well, they're bad now. They're now brown. <laughs> I was a mess and they, the, the paint store didn't have any, um, like usually have those paper suits that zip up. So we were just gonna get grab that, you know. No, they didn't have any, they didn't have the covers, they didn't have anything. So anyway, uh, so anyway, I got this box and I was not, so, so then I had a real estate, I had a house to show at five o'clock. So talk about a crazy day so i did all of that we got done came home oops my daughter just called pouring down rain i'm outside in the rain trying to clean out the sprayer <laughs> and the buckets and oh my gosh what a mess and myself and um shower to be able to show a property at five o'clock so i did it and everything worked out great but when I got home after all of that, I did not want to open a Stitch Fix box with you guys. I'm sorry. But tonight, today was a better day. Um, a lot of you know, I, because I told you what we were working on was, um, so the ceiling is now sprayed out and done on this job yesterday. And then uh, it dried last night and we base coated the walls. We sprayed the walls as well, the same dark brown. Then today we took our mix of um, mud and caulking and, water, whatever, and trout, like scooped it out and flat trout it all over the walls, okay? So, um, and I should have done a video. However, I got an offer on that real estate property. So I had to run to the office while the girls were troweling. And when I was there like a couple of hours trying to get everything right. And by the time I got back, they had almost had it done. So we worked till almost five o'clock finishing it. And I just, it's just hard to stop working to do a video. I'm not sure what the service is gonna be. Oh gosh, there's two cobwebs on my light. I never have it on this time of day. Huh, don't tell anyone. <laughs> don't tell anyone I had cobwebs that one's still hanging. There we go, now I don't. So, okay. So anyway, tomorrow, now the plan is to do a video with you guys and show you where we are so that I don't get too far ahead of the process. And then I'm going to um, mix some paint with some glaze and we're going to color wash over what we've got and warm up the white. So we had dark brown, now we have white. <laughs> so now I'm going to tone down the dark brown with the wash and warm up the white with the wash. And it's gonna look really awesome. Our goal is to make it look like a wine cellar um, for the people locally have a wine place. Um, and so they should have a wine cellar in their basement. So anyway, that's what we're working on tomorrow, well this week. So anyway, I'm home, I cleaned up a little bit and I'm going to show you what's in my box. Let's get going, let's get going. Did you guys see the deer I posted this morning? I'm telling you, hi Jenny, oh my gosh, from Australia, seriously, how awesome. Welcome to my page. There's Deborah. who else is in here? Who else is saying hi and sharing? Hey, Holly. Gosh, I'm excited. You guys, I did a video here not too long ago and this sweet girl, Holly, right there is going to come and meet me in person and start helping me get my act together. 
Wouldn't that be great? Yes, I had a girl, Beth, who's a friend of mine, and she ended up and got a job at a hotel. So she was gonna help me a little bit. Well, then they needed her more and more. There's Cynthia saying hi. Whoops, oh shoot, I flipped you around to see my light. Sorry, <laughs> see you saying hi. That's it, okay, I got all my highs. Hey, Sue from Delaware. I love it, Delaware, what a great place. Yeah, I grew up in Marysville, so I was really close to there. And Jenny's new. Well, hi, Jenny. Hi, Jenny. And there's Mary. Hi, Mary. Yes, Mary, we're doing a big paint job. I know you'll be interested in that. And Vicki. So let's open up this Stitch Fix, because this is what you're really here to see. But did you see the deer that I posted this morning? I'm telling you guys, I'm driving along, you know, do to do dreading going to work like everybody does. And I looked up and these deer crossed in front of me and they had the prettiest... They were furry antlers, right? Two of them. So then I looked over and there was another one just standing right there. Like the picture from my car, I did not zoom. Like he was right there and he just stood there and looked at me. And so I was even able to like get my phone just right to get the perfect picture of him. He was beautiful. Look back in my, and see him, he's beautiful. And so there was, there was another one behind him. So then I tried to get one of the two that had already crossed, but there were four and they all had the same antlers. It was the coolest moment. And I knew it was gonna be a good day and it was because we got everything done we wanted to get done. So we're very, very happy. But I did not do a video with you guys because we were really, really going strong. And like I said, I had to step out a little bit. So I didn't feel right making those girls keep working and I'm standing there doing a video. It just wasn't fair. So anyway, I will tomorrow. Did you see the video of us or the pictures of Jessica and I all garbed up? <laughs> I was brown here. My V-neck shirt, I was brown. My whole chest was brown <laughs> from because I was the sprayer I was looking up and my white t-shirt was brown. Why did I wear a white t-shirt? It was brown and <laughs> pulled a little pocket in a pocket. I pulled the pocket and it was like pure white down in the pocket. <laughs> what a mess. I was a mess. I swear, I told my mom, I have never been so dirty ever. Like I didn't even, I didn't even know where to start cleaning myself <laughs> in the shower. Oh, it was just awful. <laughs> I've never been so dirty. Oh, well, it was one of those jobs I didn't want to do and I told them, no, I don't want to do it. And she waited like a, a like a month and a half almost to wait on a couple of different guys to come to spray the ceiling and they wouldn't do it and they never came. And so she's like, is there any way you <laughs> I'm such a softie because I said no. Even when I showed up, she says, I'm so happy you came. <laughs> I'm not, you know I don't want to do this. So I told her, we're doing this. You're not my customer today. You are like my friend, my sister. This I don't do this. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's do this together. Of course, she left. <laughs> so, okay, let's get back to Stitch Fix. Oh, I see some more stuff, you guys. I'm just all over the place. I think I'm just exhausted. There's Robin, Robin. She came back to Chaco Tour. Is that okay to say? She left, but she's back. She came back today. I'm so happy to have her back with us. So many of you guys have done that. Got into Choco Tour and they're like, ah, and you get out and then you come back. I love it when you come back. Um, you saw the deer. Oh, Penny, it was beautiful. You saw the deer too, Liz. Okay, guys. There's Mona. Let's see. Um, it's not smart. It's just being brave and going for it. Hey, Vicki. Hi from Iowa, Janice. You know it's not smart. <laughs> so, okay, there's Sharon. All right, you guys, that's all of that. I want to, so let's get back to what we're doing. I just wanted to visit for a minute. <laughs> so, okay, let's get serious. Let's get serious here. I got a Stitch Fix box. Stitch Fix, sticks. Stitch Fix is a company that sends clothing by boxes as often as you want. They'll send them every week, they'll send them, I get them once a month. They send you an envelope mailer thing to send back anything you don't want. It all fits right in here and it's already got the label on it. You just put it in your mailbox, okay? So that's all you have to do with anything you don't want. Easy, easy, okay? Um, you get this, you get an envelope, sorry, you get an envelope Open the envelope. My light's really bright because it's so dark. But I 
so it's extra bright, but it doesn't look bright to you guys, but it's really bright. You get this, you can see how bright it is. You get this like flyer thing and it shows you, I don't know what's in here yet, but it shows you how to pair up your pieces. I never really pay attention to that. Because you don't have all of the pieces that they have, but they're showing you like you can wear something like, I don't know what's in the box. I mean, I can kind of see, but uh, like if they sent you the jeans, they're showing you some different tops to wear with them and purses. And you see what I mean? Like, I don't know. I think we could put that stuff together. And then they send you your bill. <laughs> so I have five pieces here. In my five pieces, if I keep them all five, I will spend $113.50. Um, why will I do that? Oh, I see why. Oh, someone has signed up under me. Okay, so I'll put the link. I, when I go pay my bill, they'll give me a link because I, once I decide what I'm keeping tonight, I'll go pay. And then um, uh, I'll post a link here in the comments, okay? If you guys are looking for um, Stitch Fix or curious about it, and you, if they're still doing it, you will get $50 for free. And then I also get $50 for free. And then when you sign up, if you tell people about it, they'll get $50 and you'll get $50. So that's fun. So that happened. And then if you keep everything, you get 25% off of everything. So really, I have $218 worth of stuff here that she picked for me. Uh, Alicia, A-L-I-C-I-A, is my girl. I have been with her for over a year, I'm sure. And I always love what she picks. So if you want her, if you sign up, um, you go in, you do some measurements, you do some, yes, I like that, no, I don't like that, I don't wear shorts, I don't like long sleeves, or um, I'm really big busted, or i am got a big butt, or whatever it is, um, or I need more spaghetti strap tops, or whatever it is. You can tell her what you want, or you tell her what you don't want, and um, yeah, so there you go. So because of one of you guys signed up with me, I got my $50 and you did too, plus my 25% off if I keep it all. Sometimes it pays you to keep it all even if you don't like something because you lose your 25% off. And if you're just sending back like a, you know, a $20 top, it, you're spending more. You'll see, you'll see, you'll figure it all out. So anyway, I have a green, just a green t-shirt that's kind of boring that's not very fun but i told her i need sleeves i said i need sleeves so yeah that looks that looks kind of boring but let's see yeah i don't see oh i see some white jeans mm -hmm. okay we'll see but i do like black so we've got a black top i told her i don't want things too fancy i don't know why i was wearing a lot of fancy and now i'm just not so fancy so um not fancy but just dressy you guys can't see but this has that crisscross front which is super cute and again it's just a plain black shirt but I love you can't tell it's long like see how long it is so like I have black pants on so you can't really tell but yeah this will be great with like leggings of some kind of color it's long see <laughs> so I will definitely I'm sure I will keep that for sure because I have a pair of black and white plaid pant uh, capris that I got from her might be why she sent me that. Okay, let's see what's this. Oh, this is super cute. It's, um, oh, it's so cute. This is like a sweatshirt. There, you guys can see better. The lighting was terrible. This, is, well, you can, it looks exactly like that. It's this color and everything. It's like a sweatshirt shirt. She really got me more casual. I'm so glad. I didn't want to be so fancy. I love this but not for 90 degrees, which it's been around here. So yeah, this will be great with jeans. So cute, okay, yay. I love that and I love the weight of it. Um, oh, what's this? What is this? Hmm. Oh, this is cool. I thought this was pants, it's not pants. Okay, this is a cowl neck. I kind of like it, but it's see-through. Look, can you see me? Look. You can't see me. How can I make you see me? It's see-through. There. See? You see that? I can see you. <laughs> you can't see me, but I can see you. Can you see my yellow shirt through it? Maybe. Yeah. Very sexy. <laughs> Let me put you back up here a little bit. 
So I'm thinking black tank top underneath for sure with black leggings. Oh my gosh, I love this. She did great. Okay, so here you go. So it's, it's so crickety. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. If I had a tank top on, I would run out and show you. Everybody on, <laughs> on my, this goes to my um, YouTube channel. I have a YouTube, I have a YouTube channel. And this goes there. And for some reason, YouTube people really love the Stitch Fix things. And they always say, can you try it on? I love this, because I love, I love black leggings. This is perfect, yay! I love it. And if you see something that I got that you wish you got, you just tell them, um, I love Tammy Neff's whatever, and they'll find it and send it to you. Because I've done that before when Jennifer Allwood did <laughs> Stitch Fix. So, um, and then these are just plain old white crop skinny leggings. Crop skinny white leggings. <laughs> so we'll see. If you see cellulite through them, they're going back. Because you know how white does that. I swore off a of white pants because I don't like that. <laughs> so you love the bat wings? Yes, yes, me too. And it's just got enough of a sleeve for my chubby arms. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, I'm looking through. See who. Hey, there's Anita. Hey, Anita, I sent you uh, your invoice for your Chuck Couture order. Um, I got you your three pastes, uh, Anita. Three pastes and the rooster. You wanted the rooster transfer, and I got it. So that one's discontinued. So, yay. So check your, um, check your uh, email. I just, I've got it all ready. It'll go out in the morning. Um, all very cute, Cynthia. Yes, yeah, so I have to try it on to be sure. You know, with these jeans, of course, I would wear this with black. I'm matchy-matchy. Some people would do, oh, let's see how bright my light is really bright so that you could see me. It's too bright, but if I, let's see if I turn it away. Can you still see me? Oh, heck, you can still see me. I didn't even need it. Um, <laughs> who knew? I thought I needed it. Um, okay. So I wouldn't, you guys could do this, it would look great. I wouldn't do this, I would wear black because I'm a matchy-matchy girl. It's a sickness. It really is a sickness. And this, I probably would not do this with the white, even though it would match. I guess in the summer, this is too heavy. This is like nighttime. I would take this with me if I had these on and I would take this with me if it got cold, like on our side-by-side -side or something like that, that's what this is. This is like a super warm, super soft, really nice. I really, really like this. For what was that? What did I say? A hundred and, hundred and thirteen, hundred and thirteen fifty for all this. Yay! That's like TJ Maxxing, right? That's like I'm TJ Maxxing. Love this black little, I mean, you can't go wrong with that. That would work with those for sure. So this is the only thing, you know, I try to tell her I want something that's unique like this one. Like, I love that. Now watch, I'll try it on and hate it. So many times I do these videos with you guys and I try, I try it on and I think I'm going to return it and it's my favorite thing. That's why I do need to do the try-ons. I should have put my tank top on and ran in and out. <laughs> Done. I've done it before. That's embarrassing. Talk about even just to do this is embarrassing. So, okay, Kathy, you love it. I love that one too. Black for the win. Yes, I agree. <laughs> you like the top, Shelly. Um, you like my top? Hey, look, let me show you what it does. It's, it's a little bit tight. I probably shouldn't have it on, but look, I'm all fringed out. I'm fringy here and I'm fringy here because I had to show a house after work again tonight. <laughs> So I had to dress up a little bit. I wasn't quite as dirty today, so it wasn't so bad. So anyway, <laughs> I thought when I try, I put this on, and well, because see, it's got holes and it covers up my arms because this is one of those, and I don't like to show my arms. So um, yeah, my husband's always like, "Why are you wearing a sweater?" I'm like, "Cause I'm trying to hide." <laughs> so, so to have a short sweater, you know, you don't all get it, but some of you girls I know get it. <laughs> You want us to try, you want me to try on? I know, that's what people, it, my, my YouTube people will be blowing it up. Why didn't you try it on? Because, I just, I don't know. Because I don't know how it would look. And I don't want to take that, I don't know. It's embarrassing, you guys. <laughs> it's enough to come on here and do this. You try it, it's, it's yeah. 
let me keep doing my little Buddha bowls from my daughter that she's got me eating. And um, let me get down just a little bit more and I will, I promise. Cute clothes. You wondering how it worked? Um, yeah, Martha, so you go online. Um, I'll put the link in here for you so you get your $50. If you don't wanna save $50 and you just wanna go snoop around, just type in stitchfix.com and you can look around. Um, but if you get serious, um, I'd like to have $50 <laughs> if you wouldn't mind. <laughs> and I give you $50 too. Um, but uh, you go in, you answer a questionnaire, you tell them, like mine say, you, you, they wanna know if you want dress up, um, do you want shoes, do you want jewelry, you want purses, like they have it for kids, they have it for men, like all of the things. And um, then, like I said, you can keep what you want or not. I'm on my Stitch Fix number 53. I've done this for 53, time, 53 months, wow. <laughs> Obviously I like it. Now there's been times, there has been times that I have sent every freaking thing in the box back. like. Mm -mm. don't like any of it I'm not spending that much and sometimes I love it but it's too expensive like $86 for a shirt is too much so it's going back so if she wants to get credit I think they probably get credit for what all we keep then um, you know I don't know if I got I think I did but it, if I didn't get it from Stitch Fix I got it from TJ Maxx that's the only two places I really shop really really so it's true um, it's monthly, yes, or you can do it weekly. Um, I don't know if you can do bi-monthly. You'll have to check it out. I'm not sure, but I know that you can set how much time you want it. Um, if you need something like for a couple of weeks away, you can bump it up and then you can put it back to a regular monthly schedule. It started out monthly. Now I think they're like, we'll send you anything you want, anytime you want. So it's a pretty cool thing. That's why I like sharing it with you guys. And it's for the people like like that can't get out or that don't like shopping it makes it really easy and your girl gets to know you because I can see right here she really listened to me when I said more casual please I don't want so dressy she was sending me some silky things and stuff and I'm just not that it's just I have enough dressy stuff I need to be more like when my husband wants to go on the side by side I'm like oh I don't have anything to wear I don't have t-shirts and junk and not junk but you know like I have fringy things right so anyway, she hit it for sure with the t-shirts and stuff. So that's awesome. You don't like to show your arms either. I know. It's so, oh, I look at people with skinny arms and I think you're so lucky. They don't even know, right? They're probably sitting there feeling they're, they're so fat, right? They're probably thinking, oh, I'm so, that's what I thought. If I could be as fat as I thought I was back then, <laughs> look out, right? <laughs> Um, how much did you save on all these clothes? This time, because someone bought with me, uh, I saved $104.50. If I keep everything, and it looks like I will, unless unless these white capris show cellulite, then they're going back. So we'll see. Or if it's, if it's um, well, I don't know. It just depends here. Let's see. My most expensive top, of course, is the cow neck top that I love, and it's $64. I hope Randy's not watching my husband. <laughs> $64. Yeah, but it's free. It was $14 if you take my discount off, right? Everything else is usually, um, I, I signed up for the cheapest, like the, the least expensive. So you can also do that. You can pick your, price, pick your price range. But I feel like a $64 cow neck top is probably not the cheapest top they could send. But at the same time, I ask for unique things and um, things that I can't find at TJ Maxx. So I did want that. But because you, like when I first started signing up, man, they would have like buttons down the back or like a little something like I don't know everything was always like this you know just something some unique feature like the trim this was this, this was a stitch fix um but then I started getting t-shirts or just plain shirts and I'm like I'm not spending $35 because it would be $14.99 at TJ Maxx so there's that my hair I'm sorry about my hair but um I really am sorry. <laughs> I, wish, I wish I had good hair. I don't. Um, you, will, you won't wear white pants either. I know. I didn't know it until we went to, um, uh, uh, I think we were in California visiting Abby. 
I'm pretty sure. And we were at Universal Studios and I wore white pants. I didn't think I looked as bad as I did, but there were a couple of pictures where I had turned just right. <laughs> you could see my legs and I thought, holy cow, how could I not have ever seen that in a picture But I, or in a mirror? But I think because I just look straight on, I don't really like do all the other. <laughs> I need to do that. So I thought, no more white pants after that. That was bad. And I told the kids, quit sharing that picture because your mama looks bad. Uh, let's see how much. So I answered that. So yeah, they're usually everything's like 30-ish. Um, pretty much is where I try to stay. Um, sometimes I send it back and say, I really don't want to send this back, but I'm not spending that much. Um, oh yeah, catch the replay. I'm just yakking. It's, I'm just talking. So anyway, I will come back on tomorrow if I have service in that basement for the wine cellar thing. We've decided not to do the bricks breaking out. I'll tell you why. Um, it's all concrete block, okay? And so you have all of the lines from the blocks. And I have brick stencils. And what you do, like on a drywalled wall, oh, I could yeah can I show you I'm not sure I'll try and flip you around here let's see I can show you the light I don't have a good light either um old Chelsea if you're watching don't look down because you're I got a gift for you <laughs> down there to be wrapped okay on the step because I gotta remember to do it so see the bricks let's see if I can zoom you in here can I oh uh, it's not letting me zoom you. Okay, well, you guys will have to screenshot it and zoom in. But there you can see those bricks. I don't know if you can see. Uh, no, I can't get you down there anymore. But um, I've posted pictures of our bricks, and you guys have seen them before. Um, but anyway, we were going to go for that look with all of the texture. And because she had so many lines, and it was all, like, this whole space is all concrete block, I called her down to look because it was looking really good as we were troweling the mud on. It was very consistently inconsistent, which is what you want. And I felt like all of the lines in the brick was just going to add to even more. And I just didn't, if it was drywall, I'm 100% in. I, my basement has it, I love it. But I didn't think it was right for her. And she agreed when she saw it. So uh, I know a couple of you were anxious to see how to do the bricks breaking out. Um, there's a wall in my garage that I'm thinking about doing that on. And again, I hope Randy's not watching because he's going to say no. But I want to show you guys how to do it. And it's very cool. So I think it will look awesome in the garage. So um, you can see them. Cool. So uh, I will show you that. But I do have a brick stencil that I use. It's pretty big. Um, it's like this size. Pretty big. And then what you do is I rip trash paper shopping bags I rip them I rip everything off open them up lay them out flat or you could just use regular paper I've used cardboard ripped cardboard but you want whatever you're using ripped and then um, <clears throat> you put that on top of your stencil and then you just stencil inside and that's how I get all of the different shapes is um, from my ripped things then when you mud it in you go around all your ripped places and you're not you don't see the bricks through any of that. So anyway, that's that give you a little bit if you guys really want to do it and didn't get to see, you know, because I'm not doing it to show you. And I'm sorry about that. But, you know, it's kind of, it's up to the customer. And I always want to do what's best for them. And I just didn't feel like the brick look, it was 100% my plan. I even purchased the paint. Like we were 100% in. And as we were going, it was looking too good like that. So we quit. Uh, or we, I put the bricks away. <laughs> so anyway, you guys, there you go. There's your stitch fix. I'm going to go pay. I'm going to go try everything on really quick and then I'm going to pay my bill and I will share the link here in the comments. If you're looking for it, um, Terry, then keep watching. Um, hmm. uh, I'll show you tomorrow the mudding part of it, like how, what we did over the walls. And then after you get, so after you get all of your mud mix on and around your bricks or in our case, you know we changed the plan we did an overall skim um not true skim we let some of the wall show through you'll see tomorrow if i have service if not i'll just post pictures i'll just post pictures and then you we do a color wash where we actually wash um 
because the walls are base coated dark brown to give you that. Let me flip you around. So you can kind of see around the around the bricks, see how there's some dark, I see that one great big patch right there, but there's some like right there, there's some dark and it gives you that depth of color. Um, there's some kind of going down, I can't show you, there's a gift on the step, so I don't want, <laughs> I don't want her to see it. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, so we wanted some of that for uh, for depth and interest and um, yeah, just a little more dimension to all of the texturing that we're doing. So we want it to look old and crusty and then we'll wash it. So right now it's got all these brown spots with white or white mud mix stuff over top of it. So it's looking a little um, stark. It's looking very harsh between the dark brown and the white mud mix. So it's, there's a lot of contrast going on. So tomorrow we're gonna do a neutral wash over it. She wants it a little more lighter, but warmer than what it is now. So um, you could see it. Okay, I can't tell what you guys can see for sure. And if you screenshot it and, and zoom in, um, you'll see my baby <laughs> on the step. But um, yeah, I got like a month, so it's just sitting there so I don't forget it. <laughs> so anyway, okay, you guys, I'm boring you all to death. So I will see you later. <laughs> Have a good night. I'm going to go work on the stitch fix. I'm going to try it on. I'm going to sit down and pay my bill. There will be a link in the comments. And maybe I'll just do another um, link like I did the last time, just random post on my page. So if you're interested, you can find it. You'll get your 50% or $50. You'll get a $50 credit, and I will too. So that's very cool. Okay? So don't just go sign up for somebody else because... You, even though you're giving me $50, I'm giving you $50 too. <laughs> All right, you guys, have a good night. I don't think there's any more like questions. Yeah, you wanna see that. So I'm gonna do it tomorrow so you guys can see. Um, you love it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, hi, mom. Thank you. You're sweet. You're my mom. You're supposed to say that. <laughs> Yes, catch the replay. There you go. I'm all caught up. Um, you won't wear white pants. That's funny. I know. Me either. Not after that. Not after seeing that picture. Um, that's all I got. Bye, guys. I always have a hard time saying goodbye. See you later. <laughs> Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye.